Math can be a challenging subject for many kids, but it doesn't have to be boring or frustrating. One way to make learning math more fun and engaging is through the use of math games. In today's episode, I'm going to share five interactive and educational activities that are a great way for kids to practice and master key concepts while having a blast at the same time. Stay tuned. What's kicking educational rock stars? Welcome back to another episode of Teaching Made Easy. I'm the Center Fairy, your ultimate source into the wonderful world of simple classroom systems that actually work so that you can finally get back to what you love teaching. If this is your first time joining me here on the channel, be sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and click that bell so that you get notified when I go live or upload a new video here on the channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about ways to make math fun, specifically games that you can use in your classroom to make math review and helping your students master those concepts so much more fun than boring old worksheets. Now, I've compiled a list of five fun math games that are perfect for kids to practice and master those key concepts. These games are suitable for a wide range of ages and skill levels, and they can be adapted to meet the needs of your students or children. Now, game number one is Roll and Cover. This is a simple game that's perfect for reinforcing basic math skills such as counting, addition, and subtraction. All you need is a set of dice and some counters, such as small toys or even game pieces. To play, kids are going to roll the dice and use the counters to cover the corresponding number on a game board or a sheet of paper. I like to do this with hundreds, uh, a hundreds chart, or even if you're getting them to count to a thousand. I like to do this. Sometimes I'll have them multiply the dice. If you give them multiple dice, then they can build the number and then they find the number and they have to cover it. The goal is though, is that the first player to cover all of their numbers wins. Now game number two is math memory. This classic memory game is a fun way to practice math facts and improve their memory skills. To play, you're simply going to write math equations on index cards such as 2 plus 3 equals 5 or 5 times 4 equals 20 and shuffle them. Now players are going to take turn flipping over two cards at a time trying to find ones that match. If the equation is correct, the player keeps the cards. Now the player with the most cards at the end is going to win. Now game number three is math bingo and who doesn't love bingo? But this is a fun twist on that classic game of bingo because you're going to be doing it with math facts. To play, you're going to create a bingo board with math problems instead of the numbers. Now kids are going to solve the problems and mark off the corresponding squares on their board. I like to do this where on the board they're math problems and I draw a number and it is the answer to the math problem and they have to solve to try to figure out where they can cover their square based on the, the equation, it does it actually ma uh, match the answer that I've pulled or that I, um, I've pulled like you would pull balls. So I like to do it like that. Now, the one thing that I tell my students is that you can't sit and solve every single problem in the time allotted. So they're going to have to be very careful to pay attention and use those skills that you've taught them for things like estimating sums or other tricks and tips that you've shown them how to answer questions and solve equations quickly. Now the first player to get five in a row obviously wins. Now math game number four is a math scavenger hunt. This game is perfect for reinforcing math skills in a real world setting. To play, you're going to create a list of math problems that kids need to solve using objects in their environment, such as counting the number of steps in a staircase or measuring the length of a table. Now, kids can work in teams or individually to solve the problems and check them off the list. The first team or player to complete their list wins. Now one of my favorite games, and this is one that my students always beg to play, was our Squares Your Brain games. Now Squares Your Brain is an engaging self-checking game that I developed to help my own students practice key math skills in small groups, centers, or as early finishers. Each game board is simple and it allows your students to learn how to play once and then they can play over and over and over again with the math skill changing. Students are going to choose a game board, read the directions and see what math skill they're practicing. And then they play. They can play as single players or with a partner. All you have to do is add a pair of dice. They come with a variety of skills for grades K through three, and they're simple to set up. Students are going to be begging to practice their math skills with Squares Your Brain. Now you can check them out over in our shop by clicking the link in the description. Now math games are a great way to make learning fun and engaging for kids. Not only do they provide a break from traditional classroom activities like boring worksheets, but they also 
provide kids practice and mastery of key concept in a more interactive and enjoyable way. So next time you're looking for fun and educational activities combined, give one of these math games a try. Now, if you're looking for more tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your teacher life easier, check out the other videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.